Oh, for fuck's sake, guys! Don't bother giving us a hand unloading all this shit! Oh yeah, you lot are just interested in the beer and the porn, aren't you? Never mind all the ammunition and the medical equipment, if the Legion attacks us, we'll just make improvised cover out of dirty magazines and throw beer bottles at them! I mean, if it works every Saturday night at the bar, then it should work out here, right? Ah, uh, I wouldn't exactly be surprised, but some of those soldiers were women! How lonely does it get out here on the front lines? Is that a joke? You fucking bet it's a joke. This place needs some more of that. I feel like capping myself right now just by being here. Who is in charge of morale in this camp? Because I'll happily shoot him for incompetence. All this place needs is a decent paint job and a few strippers, and it would be alright. Have you looked around? I have, unfortunately. Massive casualties, constant raids, barely any food or equipment. Does that sound alright to you? No, but it could be a hell of a lot worse. You could be stuck in the desert with no food, water, or toilet paper. At least now you guys have the first two on that list. By the way, it took us forever just to drag that crate all the way in here. I'm never gonna look at the packed Brahmi in the same way again. I take it my men were dead. No shit, otherwise they'd be here doing this instead of me. And you're not even gonna try to help, are you, Boone? No. In that case, please piss off before I start testing these guns for defections with your face! But anyway, they were dead when we found them. We killed the legionaries responsible if that cheers you up. It certainly did for me. I've got their dog tags too if you want them. Good work. If you find any more, you know where to find me. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, a couple of them had letters for their next of kin. Although I would be very surprised if you have time to deliver them. No, can't say I do. I got my own problems to worry about. Oh yes, of course. I'm a courier. I could deliver them instead. But if you honestly want me to do that for free as well, then I really need to replace your CPU with a smarter one. Like something out of a vacuum cleaner, perhaps. Besides, casualties in places like this shouldn't even be surprising anymore. It's a high price to pay, but these supplies will save a few lives here. Yeah, but it's not really a comforting thought for the family, is it? So how did Daddy die in the war, Mommy? Oh well, he had to undertake the most crucial task imaginable. Their supply of hard liquor was getting dangerously, and I do mean dangerously low. At least we have the supplies. It's not much, but every little bit counts. Yeah, well, from one desperado to another, I'd say you should quit the moment you get the chance. I mean, hell, how many times did you nearly die for the man? Me? Well, I've been doing this shit for far too long and have been in too many battles to remember. Still... This has got to be one of the worst situations I've been in. Not too much I can do about it, but do my job and do it right. Well, your job should be a little easier now. As a quartermaster, you can't really distribute anything if you have nothing to distribute. Oh dear god, this is not going to be a good idea. Can I carry 10 rifles at the same time? Oh, not really. I'm going to have to carry this one with my fucking teeth. Oh god, you have no idea how awkward this is right now. I only had to do was carry something, bro. Oh fuck, I'm talking this shit. Ugh. Well, that's it. My job here is done. Thanks for finding these. You should check in with the Major. I want to know about this. Oh, I think a lot of people should know about this. I've been running errands for the NCR pretty much since day one, and yet somehow, nobody even knows who I am. As far as fame and notoriety goes, I'm neck and neck with Nuclear Winter at one step below herpes. Honestly, the incentives for me to be charitable are diminishing rather quickly right now. Nothing beats stone cold caps in that regard. Okay, apart from maybe two or three prostitutes, but there's always room for haggling. If you're expecting me to call you sir, then you can just fuck right off. Back already? What do you need? That depends on your definition of need, because trust me, you don't want to know about some of my special needs right now. But anyway, I've done everything I could for the Quartermaster, short of forcing happy pills down his throat. I heard. The extra supplies will help for a short time, but that only solves one of our problems. With all the Legion raids lately, we're running low on troops that can still fight. Some are injured, but even more are dead. I want you to check in with Dr. Richards and see if he needs any help getting our troops back on the front line. Wait. You want me to do medicine? <laughs> wow, I guess you don't know about my gratuitous usage of painkillers. By the way, since you wouldn't know anything about this, you should stay here, Boom. Learn as much as you can about the plan to retake Nelson. Alright. No, I need you to help me with the wounded. You kept going on about my arm this morning like you knew what the hell you were talking about, so I'm going to assume you have some kind of special program installed. 
Oh, I see how it is. You talk about it all the time, but when it comes to putting your money where your speaker is, you lose all confidence. <laughs> well, you better hope those files on human anatomy are correct, because otherwise I'll just end up hacking off limbs like it's two for one at the cannibal takeaway. So, are you the butcher army doctor? Unless it's urgent, you're going to have to wait. If it's gravely important, save me the trouble and empty your pockets now. Empty my pockets? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize this is supposed to be daylight robbery. I would give you a bullet in the face, but nobody's gonna pay for the fucking bullet, are they? And that's just perfect, because I know you're not gonna pay me for being your assistant right now. I can read your fucking mind by this stage. With business booming like it is, and considering I'm the only person with medical experience in the camp, I could perhaps use a hand. Do you have any medical experience? Oh, I have plenty of experiences when it comes to causing medical problems, if that's what you mean. But considering how I appear to be trying out every potentially fatal injury, like some kind of morbid collector, and yet somehow I'm still walking, I'd say that speaks volumes about my abilities with a bloody needle. Excellent. As you can see, we have a lot of injured troopers here, and I haven't had time to look at all of them yet. Since you have some medical experience, I'd like you to examine them and see what you can do to treat them. Right, in other words, you want me to do your job while you sneak outside for some alone time with Miss Wednesday. Good God, no. Don't deny it. I saw you grabbing those magazines from the supply crate. Anyway, what's wrong with this guy? Terminal depression? Nope, machete wounds by the look of things. What a wuss. I fought two of those guys head on and I made it out in one piece. You guys are supposed to be trained professionals. Oh, fucking hell, Doc. You could tidy this place up a bit. That would be step one in convincing people that this is a hospital rather than a morgue. Sometimes it does feel that way. I feel like a mortician than a doctor. Well, do something about it then. I'm doing the best I can considering the poor situation I find myself in. Often I just don't have the resources to handle the number of injuries here. To make things worse, I think someone might be stealing my supplies. Like I'm about to right now? I wasn't told that we're supposed to provide our own today. Uh, let's see. Laceration is gonna need disinfectant, something to ease the blood loss, and a fucked load of painkillers. You know, some might say this is a waste of good whiskey, but if I don't use it now, then the doctor is gonna end up drinking it. I cannot imagine anything worse than a drunken doctor at the operating table. Ha! <laughs> that soldier is gonna take a sip the moment I turn around, isn't he? But anyway, you think someone's taking your supplies. Did they leave a note or something? How do you know? The simple fact that I no longer have as many supplies as I should. I've been careful with them, and I should have more than what remains. And that completely eliminates the possibility of you misplacing them? Anything is possible, but that's unlikely. Of course you would say that. So, you're thinking one of the soldiers here decided to go recreational with the stuff. But that means the guy would be able to at least identify which drug is which, because I highly doubt you can get high off of antibiotics. I store a variety of drugs here, but it looks like my supply of Hydra is diminishing rather quickly. Hydra? Yeah, is this a bad time to tell you that I'm not particularly familiar with that one? But anyway, where the fuck do you keep the Medex? Don't tell me that's missing as well. So how do you secure all this stuff then? You must have a lock somewhere. Locked in a cabinet here in the medical tent. I'm around most of the time, but I can't keep a constant watch on them. Yeah, in my experience, most of the time, locks only delay the inevitable. But if you don't have time to keep an eye on it, can't you at least put someone else on watch at a regular time? Ooh, but then again, maybe that's the guy who's been taking them. But anyway, I need to concentrate now. I don't want to accidentally do shit like that. Oh, get over it. Have you seen the state of this place? Nothing is sterile in here. Well, uh, let's take off his armor first. This could take a while. I remember coming in one morning and noticing my supplies were lower than they should have been. I thought it might have been a mistake, but another morning I noticed the same thing. <gasps> Ah, oh, shit, not this again. Look, whatever your name is, prepare to feel the sweet embrace of painkillers. The camp is pretty dead at night, especially at 0200 hours hey, hey, when hey, the guard hey, ship doc, changes. Look, I know you're probably quite lonely around here, but if you're not gonna help, then would you please kindly shut the fuck up until I'm done with this guy? Here's an idea. Why don't you go look into this problem while I'm here doing the hard work? Unfortunately, I don't have the time to go searching for missing supplies since I have my hands full with injured troopers. No, I have my hands full right now. I'll suck it up, you big baby. But I can see where this is going. If you want me to find them for you, just fucking say it. Compared to stitching this guy up, it cannot be as difficult. That would definitely be appreciated. You might want to ask around. And keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Ask around. Yeah, right. Nobody here knows who I am. Why the hell would they tell me anything? I'm done with that guy, by the way. If you don't like my handiwork, then you could do it yourself next time. So what's wrong with you? Twisted ankle? 
Oh, 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 hang on. Close range trauma from a shotgun? Wow, this might be outside my expertise, but I'll give it a go, I suppose. Well, in that case, why don't you make yourself useful and monitor his condition? Uh, I'm gonna need a pair of tweezers for this. Picking out shrapnel. It's like some kind of sick board game for little kids. So, Doc, what are the symptoms of hydro abuse? I'm only asking this so that you don't interrupt me again in the middle of the fucking operation. Excessive use causes dilated eyes and increased heart rate and blood pressure, massive sweating. You know, the usual. Look, don't worry about symptoms. Just ask around and see if anyone has noticed anything suspicious. Okay, good. I got it. Now please keep quiet from now on. Ah, Jesus Christ. I used to be a doctor back in California, oh, but a few years please back shut I got into doing military work because it was my patriotic duty. Good for back you. Then, uh -uh. I, like many idealistic men before me, thought it was a great idea and was excited about making the world a better place with the NCR. Well, they fucked that up, didn't they? Now, now I just want to get back home. I've had enough fighting and fixing up soldiers just to send them right back out to die to last a lifetime. Well, keep this up and he's gonna die right now. Oh, fuck! No, no, no! Massive internal bleeding! We're gonna need a transfusion! Nice one, Doc! Very professional! Which training facility spat you out? Oh, God, well, we're, we're gonna need some super stims and blood! A lot of blood! <laughs> Yes, I know about blood types, and no, I have no clue which one this is. Think of it like a fucking lottery. You might be lucky, you might be not. Oh, alright, get that down your face. Uh, considering how you're not shoving me to one side and intervening right now, I'm going to assume this is the right blood type. Look, is this some kind of elaborate plot to make me fuck up so that you can blame it all on me? I don't see how you could possibly benefit from that. Unless that quartermaster requested you to do a cull on the injured so that your supplies would last longer. You see, I told you I could read your fucking mind. Either way, I'm not touching this guy again. I've done enough just to stabilize him. You can pick through his wounds in your own time. Okay, one more soldier and I'm finished. I wouldn't mind doing more, but I take pride in my work, unlike you. You're even smoking in here, for goodness sake. Wait a minute. Gangrene? What the hell does... Oh, oh no. No, 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 I, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not going to amputate the fucking leg, okay? Need I remind you yet again that I'm doing this for free? And look at the state of that bone saw. That's probably how he got infected in the first place. Look, if you think I could do this that easily, then why the fuck would we need professional doctors? Of course I don't have any experiences in this matter. I still have all of my limbs, and the times when I've chopped other people's legs off were not for medical reasons. How the fuck did I get myself in this situation? And before you ask, chopping and sawing are not the same thing. Right, I'm gonna need something to restrict the blood flow. Christ, the amount of painkillers he's gonna need would probably kill anyone else. But to be honest, if I could choose between dying of bacterial infection and dying whilst high on drugs, I would probably choose the latter. I would be fucking amazed if this guy survives this. I hope you made peace with yourself, because I'm going for it. Alternatively, I could just cut your throat now and save you the misery. Which would you prefer? No? Nothing? Well, in that case, the leg's coming off. I hope you're ready for this, because I'm not. Would it make you feel better if I told you I used to be a carpenter? If not, then would you like me to bullshit you with something else? Oh my god, I am going to remember today for all the wrong reasons. Man, I bet the doctors at Hoover Dam don't have to deal with this kind of shit. But what would you know about that? Quite a bit, actually. I was stationed oh, there nearby. Oh, fuck this shit! Get out and don't come back until I'm done! 